Good morning. It's good to see everyone. Mic on. Okay, looks good. Sounds good. Um, it's good to be here. Uh, stuff going on today. We're going to have have a little bit of uh, I don't know how much of a speech uh, from Garrett Chalk afterwards uh, on behalf of Martin Luther. Uh, so we look forward to that today. And uh, you know, on the way to church today out at Emmanuel, I was thinking, you know, I could go on for hours on this one. Uh, so I pray for you. Trust we'll survive this. And, uh, and we'll get ready because it's all about Christ and what he's done for us. And, uh, and so let's sing Immortal Invisible. Let's rise and continue on page 260. This is the day which the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad in it. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Better is one day in your courts than a thousand elsewhere. I would rather be a doorkeeper in the house of my God than dwell in the tents of the wicked. Make me to know your ways, O Lord. Teach me your paths. Sanctify us in your truth. Your word is truth. From the rising of the sun to its setting, the name of the Lord is to be praised. Glory be to the Father, and to the Son, and to the Holy Spirit, as it was in the beginning, is now, and will be forever. Amen. The Lord God is my strength and
You may be seated. We had some excitement here last night. We had two babies baptized, and a new member was received into the congregation besides that. So um, Pastor Schultz left some reminders of things happening. So you can imagine, he was pretty excited. We're looking at our lessons for today. I already started quoting from the lessons last week on, on All Saints Sunday when I quoted from Thessalonians tra- uh, chapter 4. We do not grieve as those who have no hope. And, uh, and that's what that's, comes right from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. So we have from, we're looking at the last days. It's that time of the church year, and uh, Judgment Day is, is coming, one way or another. From Amos chapter 5, beginning with the 18th verse. Woe to you who desire the day of the Lord. Why would you have the day of the Lord? It is darkness and not light, as if a man fled from a lion, and a bear met him, or went into the house and leaned his hand against the wall, and a serpent bit him. Is not the day of the Lord darkness and not light, and gloom with no brightness in it? I hate, I despise your feasts, and I take no delight in your solemn assemblies. Even though you offer me your burnt offerings and grain offerings, I will not accept them, and the peace offerings of your fattened animals. I will not look upon them. Take away from me the noise of your songs. To the melody of your harps, I will not listen. But let justice roll down like waters, and righteousness like an ever-flowing stream. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Then we have from 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. But we do not want you to be uninformed, brothers, about those who fall asleep, that you may not grieve as others do, who have no hope. For since we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so, though Jesus, through Jesus, God will bring with him those who have fallen asleep. For this we declare to you by a word from the Lord, that we who are alive, who are left until the coming of the Lord, will not precede those who have fallen asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a cry of command, with the voice of an archangel, and with the sound of the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive, who are left, will be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and so we will always be with the Lord. Therefore, we encourage one another with these words. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Then we have from Matthew chapter 25. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. For when the foolish took their lamps, they took no oil with them. But the wise took flasks of oil with their lamps. As the bridegroom was delayed, they all became drowsy and slept. But at midnight, there was a cry, Here is the bridegroom. Come out to meet him. Then all those virgins rose and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish said to the wise, Give us some oil of of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise answered, saying, Since there will be, since there will not be, Enough for us and for you. Go rather to the dealers and buy for yourselves. And while they were going to buy, 
the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went in with him to the marriage feast, and the door was shut. Afterward, the other virgins came also, saying, Lord, Lord, open to us. But he answered, Truly I say to you, I do not know you. Watch therefore, for you know neither the day nor the hour. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Let's rise for the responsory, as we have it on page 263. Forever, O Lord, your word is firmly set in the heavens. Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Blessed are those who hear the word of God and keep it. Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. Glory be to the Father and to the Son and to the Holy Spirit. Lord, I love the habitation of your house and the place where your glory dwells. We refresh ourselves uh, on the Ten Commandments. You shall have no other gods. You shall not misuse the name of the Lord your God. Remember the Sabbath day by keeping it holy. Honor your father and your mother. You shall not murder. You shall not commit adultery. You shall not steal. You shall not give false testimony against your neighbor. You shall not covet your neighbor's house. You shall not covet your neighbor's wife, or his manservant, or maidservant, his ox or donkey, or anything that belongs to your neighbor. We confess our faith with the Apostles' Creed. I believe in God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary, suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. The third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and sits at the right hand of God the Father Almighty I, to come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Christian Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and the life everlasting. Amen. We pray our Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, and the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen. You may be seated, and we will sing our next hymn, Rejoice, Rejoice, Believers, 515.
Good morning. You know what song Judy just played? Did you hear it? That, that was Jesus Loves Me. For the Bible tells me so, doesn't it? Yeah? And that's a good thing, isn't it? He loves us. Um, I, it's a, this would make it three Sundays in a row that I have another ch children's song. And uh, it's kind of a Bible camp type song from ancient days that I know. And, it was, and uh, I think some of the people out there know it. It's, uh, the words are, give me oil, I'll just sing it. Give me oil for my, my lamp, keep it burning, burning, burning. Give me oil for my lamp, I pray, alleluia. Give me oil, my lamp, keep it burning, burning, burning. Keep it burning till the break of day. You ever hear that song before? The, the reason they use those words, give me oil in my lamp. We have oil that goes in the candles here. We light the candles and it burns. Well, they used to have lamps like that that they walked around with uh, in Jesus' day. And uh, he tells a parable about uh, a bridegroom coming, and there were ten virgins. Five of them had enough oil in their lamps to keep burning, and five did not. And so that's kind of our prayer, is that we want to keep our oil in our lamps burning till Jesus comes again, okay? And, until we see him face to face. So, so we are... And what is that oil? Well, it's, it's his forgiveness, grace, and life and love for us that he keeps giving to us every day as he shares his word with us and the Holy Spirit works in our lives. So um, it's sort of like the, um, one, of the, one of the makeup verses that goes along with it, it goes this way. Give me gas for my Ford. Keep me trucking for the Lord. You understand what that is, don't you? Ever, your parents run out of gas when you're around? Not when you're around yet, huh? Well, it happens sometimes. It happened to me one time. And I'll tell about that story in a little bit. But we want to keep gas in our cars so we can keep going, don't we? Uh, the reason they stop at the gas station, or maybe you have a pump on, on a farm place someplace that you go to, uh, we want to keep gas available at all times. What happens if we run out? We're kind of stuck, aren't we? Can't get any place unless somebody helps us. So then we need help again, don't we? And that's a good thing. And so in everyday life, we need to keep Jesus' love going every day. And so we need to... Stay in our Bibles and trust in our Bibles daily, don't we? And trust in Jesus daily. Okay, you can go back now. Thank you. Maybe you can understand why I can keep going and going with this one. Uh, sometimes I'm not always prepared the way I should be. Uh, this morning on the way, uh, on the way to, to Emmanuel out there, they, St. Olaf starts their program of classical music that work around the main themes for the day, for the readings from the three-year lectionary. And, uh, and the gal talked about the Boy Scouts in her church. Well, I was a Boy Scout. And there's a song that goes with this, too. The Boy Scouts have a motto, and it's be prepared. Be, be, be prepared, the motto of the Boy Scouts. Be, be, be prepared, the motto of the Scouts. Prepare, prepare, the motto of the Boy Scouts. Prepare, prepare, the motto of the Scouts. Uh, I always had this idea you need to remind boys to be prepared. You don't have to remind gals to be prepared because they have their purses at all times. 
So they are prepared. But guys have to be prepared. And uh, just to kind of reflect on that business about keeping gas in the Ford. I was driving a Ford Maverick at the time. You know, this is back in the 70s. Some of you maybe remember those cars. Even as little as they are, they could run out of gas. And, and mine ran out of gas in North Dakota and uh, out in the open country. And I have, had to walk, it was at least a quarter of a mile. It was probably farther, actually, maybe almost a half a mile to the farm place to get gas, to have the farmer help me. When I got there, he was having a terrible time fight, finding his jackknife. He was looking, you know, through the stuff in his workshop, and he just couldn't find it. Fortunately, I was prepared with a jackknife. Even though I wasn't prepared with gas in the car, I was prepared with a jackknife. My dad had this bad habit of swiping my jackknives uh, when I worked with him in the summers. And I always had an uncle who, if, when I talked to him, he liked to keep me supplied with jackknives. He was pretty good. I was very thankful for him. I still have the last jackknife he gave me, but not in my pocket. <laughs> Could be in trouble. Uh, but anyways, I had a jackknife in my pocket. I offered him, tell you what, I'll give you a jackknife. Come and help me. And he was happy to do that. Um, be prepared. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, may the words of my mouth and the meditations of our hearts be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, our rock and our redeemer. Amen. Grace to you and peace from God our Father and our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. He is here and he is at work with us and he does, uh, as he is here at work with us, we, we need him to be here at work with us through his word, through the sacraments when we celebrate them. He speaks to us. He keeps us going. That's the whole purpose, is to be able to keep going in our faith. And if we don't have enough oil within us, then we're in trouble. And the oil is often represented, along with the light, it, they're representatives of the Holy Spirit at work in our hearts and lives, of God's word being a light to our paths. You know? And we can go on and on with those two symbols that are so important for our lives, and we so fall short on ourselves, on how well prepared are we. It's by keeping God's word in our hearts and lives. That's what keeps us going, listening to him in our daily devotions. But we're, we live in such a world that wants to distract us and keep us from those things, and, and it's not easy uh, going through life at times, and we lose track. Our minds do stray, and we do fall short in and of ourselves. We get all hung up on our issues and forget those things that God would want for us in our lives and dealing with our neighbors and dealing with our friends and dealing with our families and in living out our lives as we look forward to the day when Jesus does come again in glory. Will the Son of Man find faith on the earth when he comes? That's a question that is raised in the Bible. And that's what Jesus is trying to do here in our lesson for today. Those in Matthew chapters 24 and 25, a number of times the last day, the judgment day, is brought up. And are we prepared? Are we ready? We need a real living faith in Jesus Christ. We need his forgiveness daily. We need his new life that he gives daily to help us to walk in our lives, to give us the light we need as we go through life. And as those ladies had learned it's the ones who had the oil, had their lamps going. They could keep burning, but those who didn't, didn't, and lost out in the end. 
These are ladies who had no, should know better, but they didn't, as we should know better too ourselves. But our Lord is here for us. He's here for us today when we gather together in, in this place of worship. He's there with us in the morning when we pray. He's there with us in the evening when we pray. He's there with us throughout the day. And if we find those moments to just stop and, and realize that and have maybe devotions in our lives, what a tremendous thing it is to have those, to have our portals of prayer, to have our Bibles beside our bed or sitting on the coffee table when we sit down to relax, to hear God speak to us, to hear God bring his encouragement into our lives, which is what he was doing in, in 1 Thessalonians chapter 4. He wants us to be ready and willing and waiting, trusting in a real hope of a crucified and risen Savior in Jesus Christ, a Savior who took our sin, who took all our trials and troubles into himself to bring us real forgiveness, real life with God, trusting that our Lord's going to see us through. And he is here, renewing us, guiding us, and giving us of himself always to keep us going in him. So may the peace of God that passes all understanding keep our hearts and minds in Christ Jesus. Amen. We'll receive our offering. How long has it been since you've sung that hymn? We give thee but thy own. I trust the Lord from thee. Let's rise in peace. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the gift of divine peace and of pardon, with all our heart and with all our mind, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the holy Christian church, here and scattered throughout the world, and for the proclamation of the gospel and the, for the calling of all to faith, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For this nation, for our cities and communities, for the common welfare of us all, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For seasonable weather and for the fruitfulness of the earth, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those who labor, for those whose work is difficult or dangerous, and for all who travel, 
Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all those in need, for the hungry and homeless, for the widowed and orphaned, and for all those in prison, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For the sick and dying and for all those who care for them, especially we want to remember in our prayers from our own congregation, uh, Margie Elmore, Ruth Hanke, Donis Volk, Dan Duden, Gary and Artis Adams, Jean Vista, Irma Frankie, Damien Pressure, and Lucille Gerberding. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For all our servicemen, and certainly with thanksgiving for all our veterans on this day, and then also for all those who still may be missing in action and, uh, and unaccounted for, and their families, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. For those that we would now like to name in our hearts in this moment of silence. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Finally, for these and all our needs of body and soul, let us pray to the Lord. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord God, Heavenly Father, send forth your Son to lead home his bride, the church, with all the company of the redeemed. We may finally enter into his eternal wedding feast, through the same Jesus Christ, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. Blessed Lord, you have caused all holy scriptures to be written for our learning. Grant that we may so hear, read, mark, learn, and take them to heart, that by the patience and comfort of your holy word, we may embrace and ever hold fast the blessed hope of everlasting life. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, one God, now and forever. Amen. We share together the morning prayer from page 266. I thank you, my Heavenly Father, through Jesus Christ, your dear Son, that you have kept me this night from all harm and danger. And I pray that you would keep me this day also from sin and every evil and all my doings in life may please you. For into your hands I commend myself, my body and soul, and all things. Let your holy angel be with me, that the evil foe may have no power over me. Amen.
Let us bless the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Almighty and merciful Lord, the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, bless and preserve you. Amen. You may be seated, and we will sing our closing hymn at this time.
Are there any corrections or additions to the announcements? Okay, we're going to have Gary Schock come out, come up here, and uh, looks like he's got help back there. Uh, maybe I should take this off. Uh, Gary is um, with Martin Luther. Uh, you're on the board, right? Yeah. And my wife is on the board, too, uh, but she's at Winnebago talking this morning. So that's her job. Uh, we, we have connections at Martin Luther. Uh, on Friday, uh, I did something I, I normally don't do at Martin Luther. I played alto sax. Usually I say I play heavy metal there uh, when I go there, and that's the baritone sax. Um, that's my heavy metal that I play. It's called the Beast. That, that was the nickname when it was built back in the 60s. But anyways, I, uh, so Darlene and I have fun uh, helping out there at Martin Luther in a variety of ways. And, and uh, you know, uh, we, there's some interest in our congregation too, for, to, uh, for otherwise too. Uh, I don't know how, how strongly it needs to be mentioned here, but uh, uh, we're thankful for that. So. Sure. All right, how's this sound? Can everyone hear me all right? Okay, awesome. Uh, thanks for all, thank, thank you to all of you for having me here this morning. Uh, my name is Garrett Schock. Uh, thank you for having me on Martin Luther High School Sunday. A um, little bit about me, I, I am the treasurer at Martin Luther High School. I've been the treasurer there for six years now. Uh, I graduated in 2012 from Martin Luther High School. My wife, Haley, she graduated uh, from Martin Luther High School in 2011. Um, we have two kids. Uh, we got Hattie, our four-year-old girl. She currently attends St. James Lutheran in Northrop uh, for four-year-old preschool. And then we have a, a two-year-old uh, little monster, Higgins. Um, he currently attends daycare right now, so that's going great. Uh, we're currently members at St. James Lutheran in Northrop. Um, I'm gonna hit just a few different points. I won't keep you guys too, here too long today. But uh, Martin Luther High School, we recently just celebrated our 40th uh, year of being open. We're really excited about that and we're really excited for the next 40 years. We're, we're here for the long run. Um, God has definitely blessed us in, in many ways and we, we plan to be here for a very long time. A uh, Little bit about the school. Guys, the high school, it's awesome. Um, just gonna come straight out and say that. It, it's amazing, I can't emphasize that enough. Uh, we have many long-term teachers and it shows. Our staff and our teachers, they're all in. They're absolutely all in in uh, growing the young students into young mature adults when they leave. Um, so we recently also just opened up having seventh and eighth grade attend Martin Luther High School. Uh, we're really excited about that. It's been going really well. We're excited to see where the future holds with that. Uh, I'm also, I'm a really big sports guy. Um, so for sports, we're, we do, uh, um, we are combined with several different schools, Truman and Grenada. Um, it, it makes us competitive uh, within the area in terms of sports. Uh, that co-op has been going very well recently. We're excited to see where that goes. Um, Martin Luther High School, it, it really means a lot to me. I think it's helped shape me into the person that I am today. Uh, my wife and I both went to high school there. Um, I need that school for my children growing up. As a, as a parent, uh, raising kids in today's world, um, I'm absolutely terrified to see what they're going to be growing up in and learning uh, in today's world. There's the old saying, it, uh, it takes a village to raise a child and I have and I feel confident that my village uh, includes Martin Luther High School. Um, last but not least, I just wanna thank this entire congregation for your, for your past thoughts and prayers to Martin Luther High School. Um, I ask that you please continue to keep us in your thoughts and prayers going forward. Uh, we're much more than just a school. We're, we're a ministry and we prepare young adults for discipleship until Christ's return. Um, 
If you take anything home from my little three minute speech this morning, uh, this is what I want you to take home. Again, I thank this entire congregation for all your thoughts and prayers for Martin Luther High School. I ask that you continue to do that for us. Um, we cannot do it alone. We're all in this together. So really appreciate your time this morning. Thank you so much for having me. And uh, if you have any questions about Martin Luther High School, I'll, I'll hang out for a little bit. Um, so come and find me if, uh, if you have any questions. Really appreciate your guys' time again. Thank you very much. Have a good Sunday. Thank you, Garrett. Uh, another connection we have, too, is Pastor Schultz. Uh, he teaches art at, at Martin Luther. Yeah, he's an art teacher. And some of the stuff they turn out is pretty good. I've, I've gotten some off the auction that they have. And uh, so it's, it's pretty nice. Uh, and he, there are some things that he has the kids do as gifts to the church. And um, so, so Pastor Schultz is a part of that too. Um, anything else needs to be mentioned? God bless. Have a good day. Uh, just to, to mention, we do have Advent, bull, ha, no, the Advent devotions back there from Martin Luther, and then we also have um, just you know one of those introductory type flyer things. I believe I haven't read it yet. It just I got it on Friday. We had a veterans program. Their first alto didn't show up, so I played alto. The first alto is Darlene, but um, and. I don't know if you guys know Gene Chase. Uh, he's a friend of mine. He's in the Minnesota Over 60 band. He plays tuba. And he started playing with them. That's why well, I heard he was playing tuba on Friday so I could play first alto then. So it was fun. It's good to be with friends. So God bless and have a good day. And share that life and love that we have in Jesus with those all about you as we go through our lives.